making steel emits about 8% of the world's carbon emissions. And as we race to decarbonisation, the iron ore industry is part of that race to try to decarbonise its product. And it might surprise you that something like this could be part of the answer. So I'm here to speak to Simon Trott to find out how this can make greener steel. Simon, this is an agricultural waste product. How do you get steel out of this? So biomass and microwave technology. Um, the uh, the microwave in your in your uh, in your kitchen could be part of the answer for the for the steel industry. Uh, so this technology combines both of them. Uh, so raw biomass together with microwave uh, microwave technology. Uh, we combine those two when we produce uh, pig iron by using the microwaves uh, as an energy source uh, and the biomass uh, for its carbon and, and as an energy source as well. So is this ultimately replacing what coal currently does? Co coking coal, that's right. So this, this technology uh, would replace uh, today's uh, blast furnace approach which combines coking coal with iron ore to produce, uh, to produce iron. Um, this is biomass and microwave to produce iron. And how important, or why is it so important that, that you are able to do this? Because you already have a pretty good business model that exports raw iron ore product. So the steel industry is 8% uh, of total global CO2 emissions and that needs to change. Uh, and so we want to make sure that Pilbara ores are well positioned for green steel. Uh, we've been in the Pilbara for decades and we intend to be here for decades more. Uh, and part of that is making sure uh, that Pilbara ore has a clear pathway with green steel. And so how quickly can you be producing with this product? Uh, so this, this uh, pilot plant here uh, in Rockingham uh, will commission in 2026. Uh, it'll take us around about two to three years to develop the data that we need uh, to progress the, the technology. We would expect to see commercialisation sometime 2035 onwards uh, as we firm up uh, that, uh, that technology. And we've talked about obviously the global impact of steel making, but how much would a successful trial and, and ultimate implementation of this save Rio Tinto's uh, emissions? Uh, so we see this process as reducing uh, the emissions from iron making by about 95% uh, compared to the blast furnace uh, process and so that's 95% uh, each and every tonne. You announced earlier this year a, a joint project with one of your peers BHP and Blue Scope. How does this tie into that? Uh, so the path to green steel will need different technologies. Uh, this is one. The earlier announcement with BHP and Blue Scope uh, is another. Uh, this particular process will need a step like a melter um, to remo remove the impurities uh, once the combination between the biomass and microwave technology uh, is done. And Simon, obviously the pilot is happening here south of Perth, but the iron ore is mined a very far distance from here. What's the ultimate plan for the final destination or the final location for this Planned. So that's one of the things we'll assess uh, as part of our ongoing study work. Uh, you need clean energy, you need biomass, uh, you need iron ore uh, and so those three factors um, where they're available um, together with the cost and the other aspects, uh, access to services but we'll make that determination as part of that next phase of work. And I wonder what your customers say because obviously they're, they're very happy with the product that they've been buying for, for many years now and, and potentially have some control over what they do with that product. If you're then providing a, a, something that's been further produced here, is that going to meet their needs? So all, all of our customers are looking for ways of decarbonising uh, their business. Uh, we're working with many of those customers on aspects of that decarbonisation journey. Uh, we've had a lot of interest uh, in, that, in this process and I'm sure uh, we'll have a lot more interest uh, as this pilot part progresses. And Simon, obviously um, Rio Tinto is going down this path, your peers potentially going down other paths. What gives you the confidence that this is the way to go? Uh, so we, we know we're not going to answer this question alone. I think it's fantastic that others in the industry are, are looking at alternate technologies. Um, those pathways will, will firm up. What I am more and more confident about is steel industry will decarbonise and Pilbara is going to play a big role in that. Simon Trott, great to speak to you. Thanks so much. Thanks, Rachel.